Hey there, and welcome to another Jazzwares Fortnite 4 inch action figure review. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new solo mode figure, Rogue Agent. And he's just a really cool, he, he looks like a pilot, if you ask me, and that may be what he is. But uh, let's flip him around here, real quick. And uh, agent status is unknown. And there's the cross sale, and there's all a bunch of stuff. And let's get him um, opened up because I'm really anxious to open this one. I've I've been waiting for this one for a while. So be right back. All right, and we're back, and we've got Rogue Agent out of the package. Rogue Agent is an epic skin in the Fortnite game, and he's part of the Black Vector set. And you can buy him when he pops up. He is available in the item shop. So he also comes with the Tactical Spade Harvesting Tool. And that's pretty neat. It looks like one of those little shovel things that's got a bit of a serrated saw or something, and a pickaxe. You know, for a survivalist, this would be a pretty cool little uh, uh, tool to have with you. Just do that right there. Well, maybe. Anyway, I mentioned that I've been waiting for this guy for a while, and the reason I've been waiting is because we already have his back bling, the Catalyst. This came out with a loot chest back in 2018, one of the first loot chests. And so we can now put this back bling with its skin. At least in the item shop, usually when you get this, as far as I know, he comes with this backpack. And you can even see it just a little bit. If I uh, pull out the artwork there, you can kind of see here's the catalyst back here with the antenna and everything right there. So this is his back bling. And I think this is pretty cool that we can, we can finally match up something. Uh, the precision that we also got back in 2018 is part of the Black Vector set. So you could put it on him. You can put any back bling on anybody you want to, but this is actually part of his set as well. All right, let's get in and take a look here. So he comes with a pretty standard brick building material figure stand that you can peg onto his foot like so. Then you can stand and do anything you want to, but... It's time to take a look at the figure. He's really a cool aviation type of thing is what I think. You know, he looks like he's got some sort of an aviation helmet. And uh, I think it just looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, this is not 100% original sculpting. He does share some body parts with some other... I keep putting him up too high. Sorry about that. Uh, let me adjust my focus. Then I can bring him a little bit closer. There we go. He does share body parts with some other people. Uh, Crackshot shares his, or he he gets his legs mostly from Crackshot, uh, minus the patch, but they're pretty much the same legs. And I know this is significant, but Jonesy is the first time we see these hands right there. So, just for those of you who want to know, oh, also Jonesy is also the first time we see this scarf used. Uh, the head, the arms and the torso area are all brand new and original as far as I can tell. His head moves around really pretty good. He can't uh, move it back and forth too much due to the helmet and the scarf. He can only go about that far. He can rotate his arms all the way around and it's really cool how Jazzwares leaves a little bit of a gap here so when you've got these bigger th shoulder pads and you lift the arms up the shoulder pads just go inside of the f inside that little area. I like that a lot. That's neat. His arms or his elbows rotate and they both bend. Mine's actually really pretty easy. His wrists rotate all the way around and they even bend back and forth. Like so. He's got a torso wiggle, but mine's kind of stiff. So I don't know if he's stiff. I mean, there he goes back, but he doesn't really go forward. I'm not sure if it's stiff. Oh. Yeah, it's so stiff, I can pop him apart. I don't think they're... Well, maybe that did it. He can. He's moving more now. So he's got a better ab crunch wiggle there. His... My waist... Or his... My waist, whatever. 
is a little bit tough to turn around, so he doesn't really move that much. He, however, can do the splits, and he probably does them the best of any of the figures that I have seen, and he even cracks a little bit while he does it. He can move his legs around like so, and the thighs do rotate. He's got the standard double-jointed knees and his ankles rotate around like so. They both do. And they also move back and forth. In fact, this one moves back and forth quite easy. Quite easy indeed. So we can give him a, a little drum gun here. We'll see if that works. I think it might. Don't mess with the rogue agent right there. Hey, he's even going to stand. Look at that. He's posing for us. Anyway, thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, thank you for sharing your time with me. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and uh, hit the thumbs up there and give me a like. And if you want to be notified when more of this stuff comes out, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Other than that, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. We will see you in the next video.